coverage on my radar. Well, this what really looked like a September, uh, right? A pretty active month for hurricanes, like 2017 was. I uh, know we got a new tropical depression off the coast of Africa, potential tropical cyclone 8. Invest 92L, uh, which may become a tropical depression later on today or tonight. Tropical storm Florence, I know, I know, which is our main concern for the U.S., and um, um, a new disturbance um near uh, the Bermuda, which is disorganized, but um, but conditions are going to become unfavorable for it to develop as well. And of course, Gordon is weakening, but torrential rain is expected in the U.S. And and uh, today our main focus is a uh, tropical storm Florence, and uh, because because some of the models want to bring it into a U.S. Ida landfall, possibly as a major Category 3 or Category 4 hurricane, and uh, people should heed these warnings now. And uh, looking at the satellite imagery, and uh, Florence, it has increased in thunderstorm activity. Um, there's still um, some some south uh, the westerly wind shear um, just getting into Florence, um, but that can change in the next day or so. Um, higher than average sea surface temperatures and no wind shear could provide rapid intensification for Hurricane Florence as it pushes westward. Um, also looking at the models, and uh, you can see here uh, that most of the models um, on the left side of your screen actually puts this in onto land, and some of the models put it away from land, so it could be possible of a U.S. landfall. Also looking at the intensity model guns, and yes, it is forecasted uh, uh, to be a major category 3 or 4 and uh, by the time it gets closer into uh, the East Coast. And those major hurricane force winds are going to be disastrous and deadly if you folks um, um, don't take action and heat those evacuation orders. And and storm surge is the biggest killer um, than any other aspect of hurricanes, and and Florence it has the potential to produce catastrophic storm surge across uh, the Carolinas or Georgia anything else. Now, I have a, a hurricane Florence warning. Um, if you live in, um, if you live in evacuation zone. On the near a coastline in the Carolinas or Georgia, you need to be evacuated and fully prepared for Florence immediately. Uh, there's still time, and Florence is way out to sea. And uh, Florence, it could, it could possibly um just make history, um in the east coast of the United States. And uh, the East Coast of the United States and the Mid-Atlantic have never, ever been hit by a hurricane this strong. Uh, the last time, a Hazel um, in 1954, that is a Category 4. And Fran in 1996, which hit also as a Category 3 major hurricane. But Florence could be potentially another landfalling major hurricane. And people must be prepared out there if they're unaware of um of the upcoming hurricane and uh i know you folks are scared out there of florence um but uh, but you gotta be strong you got to be brave you have got to be fully prepared for florence and evacuate on um, the area immediately and uh, and uh, get your supplies ready uh, for Florence as well, <laughs> and and uh, because the storm surge will be disastrous and deadly, and uh, if Florence actually makes landfall or a direct hit along a coastline, um, the National Hurricane Center does not want you uh, to be part of that kind of circumstance. Uh, be safe, everyone, and keep up to date on Hurricane Florence. And as we continue uh, to cover it, 
um, on my radar.